Hi, today I am going to do a program on pronic number. What is pronic number? Pronic number is a product of two consecutive integers. Now, what are consecutive integers? Consecutive integers are number which occur one after the other. For suppose, uh, you can take two and three consecutive as consecutive integer, five and six or six and seven, they are consecutive integers. Here, for the setup, I am using BlueJ. You can use either uh, devext or eclipse or any other java compiler it does not matter now let's start the code the code is very simple uh, first line is we start with java util class so that uh, we, are, we are taking user input using scanner to call the scanner class we use this package and we are calling entire thing all star util star we are calling the uh, using the wildcard we are calling every package of util we, you can also specify scanner if you per se if you want to uh, class name is pronic number you can have any pronic number but uh, in blue j you make sure this class name and this uh, name is always same now coming to uh, next line public static void main string args i know most of you have learned this by heart you need not you do not know why you are using this what i can change here and why is it necessary to put in simple terms this is a public method method uh, so that it can be accessed from anywhere so I have specified this as public. Public is by also by default. Uh, we do not specify it by default goes to public. What does static mean here? Static is basically uh, this class in, can be loaded into the memory and the main method can be called. Main method here uh, now void. Okay, I'll first explain why void. Void basically is here uh, for the return type. Return type is basically if this uh, entire process returns something uh, we are not returning anything so we have mentioned void here now main one our main method like usually we often say we often put this as main but i have uh, entered here as main one so does this matter like does this have any significance here no you can name the you can also have your own name put up here it does not matter you can put anything here see that's the thing you, you often have learned that okay i'll have to put main only it doesn't matter now coming to string args if you keep okay if you do not keep then also okay but if in case you are passing and uh, uh, suppose you are passing a single argument or string array then you need uh, then you need to uh, put string args here now coming on to the variables uh, parenthesis we have kept here uh, int num counts uh, and d number num is for the taking the int taking the user input count is basically we are counting if the number uh, how many times basically it's a flag variable that signifies uh, if two consecutive integers have been multiplied it is incremented by one and we can uh, get the notification yeah we have a pronic number now scanner class uh, we are creating the scanner object here scanner sc equals to new scanner system dot 10 uh, basically scanner uh, you see you will have to pay more focus here because this syntax cannot be changed this entire syntax uh, scanner s should be capital uh, this you can only part you can change here is the sc you can create your own object here but if you, wherever sc is being used you will have to replace it with your own object now i am just giving a uh, message out there that you need to enter a number now num equals to sc dot next int next int we are taking the the number is next int for string it's next line for double it's the same next double or uh, next float character it's quite different uh, you'll have to check that you can check that on internet now basically we are doing a simple for loop here we are doing till number n by 2 we do not go with number because if uh, product of a number usually doesn't come uh, if you go till uh, 13 it's not 11 12 like 11 12 or 13 so num by 2 is okay that's that pretty much signifies it now coming inside i am starting with 1 it can go till uh, num by 2 i plus plus it's incremented uh, by 1 every time d here is basically it's multiplying the current value and the next value suppose 1 comes here 1 into i plus 1 is 1 into 2 so d will currently hold the 2 and it will compare with the original number which the user has given suppose the user has given a number as 6 here i'll just put this in comment okay now if 6 comes now first is it starts with 1 1 2 is a 
2 2 is not equals to number so it goes to else else now i put d equals to 0 because you need to new values will be stored in d and see if you put okay because we are not uh, adding d anywhere i am initializing d every time but it's a good practice to always uh, clear the values because if you are uh, doing any other operations such as d equals to d plus 1 or something so to better avoid that i have added d equals to 0 now coming it will go to i will become 2 and 2 into 2 plus 1 is uh, 2 uh, into 3 is 6 yeah d equals to 6 equals to 6 okay now count will uh, be incremented by one break break means i am uh, coming out of this for loop when i come outside the for loop i basically check if yeah count here is one yes one is greater than zero num is basically the six which i get here num plus is a pronic number else system dot all because p is not a pronic number if it runs out by entire now suppose if i go with eight uh, I've done two threes are now three fours are three fours are is twelve. Okay, it uh, it cannot go further than this. Like if you want to further improve this program, you can do one condition. Like if the value of d exceeds the number, you can break then also. You can put this condition. See, this will further reduce the computation. Suppose uh, you need not go till num by two also. You can reduce. You can your fast the execution type of your program would be much faster okay now this is the simple logic now let's compile this i've run the compile now let's run this okay i'll click here okay i need to pass the string argument it's in curly braces okay the first number let's enter as six yes six is a pronic number let's go back let's try again curly braces now let's go with uh, 56 yes okay now it may looks like uh, that everything is coming as pronic number okay now let's try something which is not a pronic number let's try with 8 here okay now if i enter 8 it is not a pronic number let's try one more uh, let's try i think uh, 12 no 12 is 3 4 so that's a pronic number let's go with 15 Okay, sorry, my bad. I need to enter this. Uh, 15. 15 is not a pronic number because 4 is between 3 and 5. See, that's about it. In my further videos, I'll explain more about uh, different numbers. I'll be dive in, deep dive into uh, happy number, uh, Masene, Kapreker, and I'll also do a basic introduction and basic uh, tips which you must have for your ICS exams or ISC exams or any other exam which you are giving on basic java fundamentals such as uh, println uh, print char caret uh, substring function uh, a single line string reverse method by a string one single line you can reverse the string all this i'll explain in further videos you can watch my other videos uh, as they appear thank you for watching